simply put in load so we're going to just click in load right here and as you guys can see my structure has been loaded right there there is my structure I'll be teaching you guys how to copy and paste blocks in Bedrock Edition. So I'll be teaching you guys how to copy and paste. This is super easy. No mods needed. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to copy and paste blocks. This can be extremely helpful for like a difficult build. Let's say you built like a house or a, a custom tree and you want several copies of the tree and you don't want to make the same thing it's going to be a lot of work and you, you won't get the accurate thing um this can be really helpful for that or just making a full layer of houses if you want um so yeah so for this video i'm at a village and i'm going to be using this um house here for my example to duplicate this exact thing here so first of all what you need is to go in your command chat so as you guys can see i was practicing it Get used to it and it is really easy um so these are the commands i'm going to just show you here um that is the commands um you guys can pause the video and go check it out that is the commands um i'll even leave it in the link below and you guys can go check it out um this is exactly what you have to type in so i'm just going to type this out just for showing that it works so i'm just going to put slash give at um p structure Block. So as you guys can see the menu is starting to come and that block is starting to come so for underscore block you just copy everything and it comes right in your inventory see it comes right there and yeah it's easy as that grabbing it so yeah so let's copy our build here so this is our build that we'll be copying and first of all what I want to do is to find a corner of this build so it there's four corners obviously for your build um, you're gonna have to go on one corner, but this really depends on the structure block. Let's say you pick this corner here, place it there. As you guys can see, a cube will come, but it's not getting the house in. So we want to kind of get it that's like getting inside the house. So I think this might work. So we're gonna go this corner here, and I'm gonna put it right there. And as you guys can see, it's going in the house. It's going into my thing that I want to copy. And what I like to do, I like to keep a little bit of a room and just go corner like that. So basically I just do this and then put it right wherever this is. I just put it under this and right over there I have it. So whatever is in this cube here that you guys see, whatever is in this cube is what's going to be copied. So what you guys have to do is, um, you guys going to go in the stretcher block. Um, and you guys can see like kind of this menu come over here. Um, we're gonna go on X. So X is going to be a red line. So red line. Where's my red line? So obviously this is the green line, and it is going upwards, which means this is the height. So Y is height, and the blue line is going this way. So that means it's gonna show the length of this. That means um, red is going this way. So all I have to do is just put in my thing. So I'm going to just do this randomly. Um, let me put in maybe 9. Let me see 9. Do 9 work? Um, I think 9 works. I think 9 do work. Um, but I kind of... I think that works. Um, yeah, there we go. So over here, this should be even so you can rotate it. I'll even tell you how to rotate it. So whatever your X is, you got to have it for the Z. So it'd be like a proper square. And as you guys can see, I have a proper square, but you guys can see it's kind of not fitting. It's not fitting. So this is the unfortunate part. If it doesn't fit, then you kind of have to build out your front a little um, more. So your front there got to fill up more. And this is where you kind of have to do your own work in order if you want to rotate it. It's just if you want to rotate it. If you want this randomly, then can just follow the normal steps so as you can see I got it in and I'm gonna actually make this 12 I think that will be better I'm gonna put 13 yeah I'm gonna put 13 here and as you guys can see it is now 
in my full build as you can see everything is fitting right into it it's just this water comes in and you can just fix that a little bit I'm just gonna fix this fixed it and as you guys can see there's a cube that comes around my build that I want to copy and it is a perfect square all even which mean I can rotate it um this is for the rotating step um so what I want is that the cube is not met his height so we will want to make this any height that you want oh four huh. um not eight maybe nine no okay then 12 might work Okay, so as you guys can see, 12 did work. It went like a little bit over, like a block over, but it's okay. Um, everything is in the cube. Now, this is the part where you have to copy it. So right now, I got the build in the square here. And I'm just going to click on this and just name this. So make sure this is on, on save. And then you're going to put a um, name here. So I'm just going to call this um, whatever I want. You have to keep a name that you have to remember. You have to remember the name. So I'm going to call it Village H. Like that. Or you know what? I'm going to call it Villager. Village House. So that's what it's going to be called. It's going to put his random command structure. And all you have to do is click save. And it will say structure saved. Now what you want to do is where you want to put this house. So let's say I want to put it on... Um, over here let's say I want to put it over here so I'm gonna I'm gonna put it right here as you guys can see my cube do come and I'm gonna just put in here load and then I'm gonna put in the structure name which was um village and house that's what I put in and as you guys can see it gives kind of a layout on how it's gonna look how much space will take and how it look like so what you want to do is kind of put this up so it'll be worlds, but there we go. And we're gonna simply put in load. So we're gonna just click in load right here. And as you guys can see, my structure has been loaded right there. There is my structure block. Um, that easy. Yeah, so this is really fantastic because I'm a fantastic fox. So yeah, that's how you simply do it. Um, yeah, if you want to rotate it, since we made this a perfect square, we can even rotate it. So, let's say I want it to face towards, um, this way, towards that side. So, I'm going to just go in the structure and go all the way here on rotation. I'm going to click 90, and this will take some time, because you kind of got to see where you want to rotate. I'm going to click load, and that is not the front. So, I think I'm going the opposite direction. So... I'm gonna, it's gonna take a little bit, but I have to just keep doing this. So I'm gonna click load, make sure it's on the proper direction that I want it, click load. And as you guys can see, it is facing towards me. Um, look at that, that is the house. And then later when you're done and you're happy with your structure, you can just delete the structure blocks. Um, yeah, you got the build and you can just keep copying this if you want. Um, yeah, so. I got it right there and let's say you want two of these, you want two of them re right each other, like beside each other. Um, you guys can just simply do this and do it again. You can just put in load and put in will village house and then I'm going to click load and I'm going to make sure this is also the same rotation that I wanted. And there we have it, my house is right there. Um, yeah, that's how you do it guys. That's how you make your build um, Yeah, if you have any questions about this, please comment below, but this is how you do it Please leave a like and subscribe and go check out Sapphire news because they're a new channel that I want you guys to support But anyways, I'll see you in another fuzzy berry video. Bye